After 30 days of testimony and 63 witnesses, federal prosecutors today rested their case against James Whitey Bulger. Starting on Monday, it will be the defense's turn to start calling witnesses. The government ended today in the same part of this saga where it ended for Whitey with his capture in Santa Monica, California. An FBI agent from the Los Angeles office came in and testified about the cash and the guns that were seized from the apartment that Whitey had lived in for more than 16 years while he was a fugitive in a rent-controlled apartment just a couple of blocks from the beach in Santa Monica, California. Jurors looked rather wide-eyed as the agent identified 30 guns pulled from that apartment and prosecutors stacked up plastic bags stuffed with more than $822,000 in cash. I mean, they've shown so many guns here already. It's, it really was. You know, I, I, I thought they were going to pull the bazooka out. You know, he had grenades and a bazooka, but, that, you know, for some reason they didn't have that up there. I actually thought it would, the pie would be a little bigger for 800000 The agent talked about how they had got this tip that Whitey was hiding out in California as Charlie Gasco, along with this girlfriend, Kathy Gregg, posing as Carol Gasco. They got the tip. They went to the apartment. They interviewed the manager who said he was 100% sure it was them. They had been his neighbors for five years. The agent concocted a ruse. So let's tell him that is a storage locker it has been broken into, into the, at, in the garage of the building. When Bulger came down, he said agents quickly surrounded him, handcuffed him, and told him, get on the ground. Uh, Whitey initially refused, saying, I'm not getting on the ground. He, he said there was grease, and he didn't want to get his pants dirty. He was arrested and uh, agreed to cooperate, and hoping to get some consideration for his girlfriend. But that never happened. Kathy Gregg was sentenced to eight years in prison, and she's now serving that sentence. On Monday, we'll find out a little bit more about the defense. They say they plan to call at least 15 witnesses on Monday and Tuesday combined, and they have yet to say whether Whitey Bulger will take the stand in his own defense. We'll find out next week. This is Shelley Murphy for the Boston Globe.